Hello students. In today's video, we are going to study the concept of excretion of drugs. Now, this video is 12th in the series of videos on pharmacokinetics. Now, let's uh, understand what is excretion of drugs. Now, drug excretion is the removal of drugs from the body. Now, before continuing with drug excretion, let's quickly go through the concept of pharmacokinetics. Now, once a drug is administered, it goes inside the body. Now, pharmacokinetics deals with the movement of drug through the body. Now, it is a study of absorption, distribution, metabolism and excretion of drug. Now, look at this figure. Uh, this figure gives a schematic representation of uh, administration, distribution, metabolism and excretion of the drug. Now, once a drug is administered, it gets absorbed in the systemic circulation. Now, in the blood are present plasma proteins like albumin. Now, most of the drugs bind reversibly to these plasma proteins. So, in the blood, uh, the drug is present in the two forms. The blood is present as a free drug and the drug is present as a drug bound to the plasma proteins. Now, from the blood, uh, the free drug is distributed to the body tissues. Now, the drug is also distributed or the drug also reaches its site of action, binds to the receptors and produces its therapeutic effect. Now, uh, it's a metabolism and uh, excretion of the drug that occurs simultaneously along with the drug distribution. Now, drugs are metabolized and in majority of cases are converted to inactive water-soluble metabolites which could be easily excreted primarily by the kidneys in the urine. So, excretion is the removal of drug from the body. Now, drugs are removed either as inactive metabolites or the drug is directly excreted unchanged or the drug is partly excreted as metabolite and partly as the unchanged drug. Now, uh, the drugs and the metabolites are excreted in urine, feces, then exhaled air, saliva and sweat and milk. Now, let's discuss each root of drug excretion one by one. Now, first root of excretion is the urine. Now, majority of drugs are excreted in urine through the kidneys. So, urine is the primary root of excretion of drugs. Now, nephron is the functional unit of kidney. Now, in order to understand how drugs are excreted in urine through the kidneys, let's quickly go through the structure and functions of nephron. Now, uh, look at this figure. This is the structure of nephron. Now, as we all know, uh, it is the nephron that filters the blood. Now, renal artery, it branches into afferent arterioles and efferent arterioles. Now, a fine network of uh, afferent arterioles form a structure called as glomerulus. Now, blood in the glomerulus is filtered and the filtrate passes into the lumen of the nephron. Now, first part of the nephron is called as proximal convoluted tubule. The second part is called as a loop of Henle. The third part is called as a distal convoluted tubule. And the fourth part is termed as a collecting tubules and finally the collecting ducts. So, the blood in the glomerulus is filtered. But the blood and its components that are not filtered, they are carried away from the glomerulus by efferent arteriole. Now this efferent arteriole, it further branches to produce peritubular capillaries and these capillaries, they run parallel and they surround the structure of the nephron. Now a look at this figure of nephron uh, depicting three processes by which drugs are excreted in urine. First process is the glomerular filtration. Second is the selective reabsorption and the third is the tubular secretion. Now let's first talk about the glomerular filtration. Now blood in the glomerulus as we have already discussed is filtered. Now blood is filtered but plasma proteins in the blood are not filtered. So all the drugs and their metabolites which are not bound to plasma proteins Either they are lipophilic, that is lipid soluble, or they are hydrophilic, that is water soluble, are filtered and they pass into the lumen of the nephron. 
Now, out of all these drugs and their metabolites, all water-soluble drugs and all water-soluble metabolites are directly excreted in the urine. Like, for example, uh, aminoglycoside antibiotics like uh, gentamicin, streptomycin. These are highly water-soluble and highly ionized drugs. So, these are uh, filtered and directly excreted in the urine. Uh, now let's talk about the second process uh, that is performed by the nephron uh, that is the tubular reabsorption. Now all the lipid soluble uh, non-ionized drugs uh, which were filtered by the glomerulus they are reabsorbed from the filtrate in the lumen of the nephron into the peritubular capillaries. So there is reabsorption of all the lipophilic drugs from the filtrate into the peritubular capillaries and again these drugs they reach the blood. Now here it is important to understand that if this urine is made alkaline all weak acids for example barbiturates, salicylates are ionized, uh, they become water soluble and they are excreted. Now this principle of making the urine alkaline to enhance the excretion of barbiturates is used in barbiturate poisoning. Similarly, the urine can also be made acidic to enhance excretion of weak bases, uh, weak, uh, bases like for example morphine, amphetamine. However, urine is not made acidic because acidosis of urine causes complications like uh, rhabdomyolysis that is breakdown of skeletal muscles, cardiotoxicity etc. Uh, now let's talk about the uh, third process uh, that is the tubular secretion uh, by which majority of drugs are excreted. Now drugs that could not be filtered, uh, they are carried away uh, from the glomerulus by the efferent arteriole and they reach the peritubular capillaries. Now from the peritubular capillaries, these drugs, they are actively transported into the lumen of nephron and then they are finally excreted. Now drugs uh, that are organic acids for example penicillin, probenicid, salicylate, indomethacin, methotrexate, then glucuronoid and sulfate conjugates of the drugs, these are transported from the peritubular capillaries to the lumen with the help of transporters uh, that is the organic anion transporters. So once they are transported into the lumen, these are excreted in the urine. Now uh, similarly, drugs that are organic bases, uh, like for example, amyloroid, uh, then quinine, uh, procainamide, simetidine, these are transported from the peritubular capillaries into the lumen of nephron by the transporter. The transporter is the organic cation transporters. So these transporters, they transport all the organic bases from the peritubular capillaries into the filtrate and from here, these drugs are excreted. So urine is the most important route by which majority of drugs and their metabolites are excreted. Now, uh, the second very important uh, route of excretion of drugs is the biliary excretion. So um, this is excretion of drugs in the bile. Now drugs like erythromycin, ampicillin, rifampin, oral contraceptives, uh, then vicuronium, phenophthalene, and these are actively transported from the liver to the bile. Active transportation means uh, transportation uh, with the, that is mediated with the help of transporters. Now bile transports these drugs to the gut. And in the gut, these drugs are excreted in the feces. Now, liver actively transports following type of drugs into the bile. Now, organic acids, uh, specifically large molecular weight uh, drug uh, glucuronoid conjugate metabolites are transported in the bile by organic anion transporter polypeptide that is OATP and uh, with the help of transporter that is MRP2. Now apart from this, organic bases are transported uh, from the liver into the bile by organic uh, cation transporters that is OCT. Lipophilic drugs are transported in uh, bile by permeability glycoproteins. Steroids are also transported from the liver into the bile. 
Now, as discussed, bile transport these drugs or these substances to the gut, and from the gut, uh, these substances are excreted in the urine. So, primarily, large molecular weight and lipophilic drugs are excreted in the bile. From the bile, these drugs they reach the gut, and from the gut, these substances are excreted in the feces. Another route of excretion of drugs is the lungs. Now, volatile liquids like alcohol and gases like uh, general anesthetics are excreted in the exhaled air by the lungs. Another route of uh, elimination is the saliva and sweat. Now, this is a minor route of drug uh, excretion. Drugs like lithium, potassium iodide, rifampin, heavy metals are excreted in these secretions. Another route of excretion uh, or another route of drug excretion is the milk. Now, excretion of drugs in the milk could be harmful or uh, could be toxic to the suckling infant. So, lactating mother should consume drugs only in consultation with a physician. Now, more lipid soluble, less protein bound and basic drugs are excreted in the milk. So, this is in brief on uh, the different routes uh, from which uh, the excretion of drugs takes place. So, if you find the video useful, kindly like, subscribe and share this video. Thanks for watching this video.